guys, it's Izzy here with a Funko Pop video. So we are going to be looking at my top five most expensive Funko Pops sneak peek. I brought them all downstairs. And before anyone asks if I'm willing to trade any of these, sell them, these pops, I am specifically, I am not selling them or trading them, but I do trade and sell pops. So yeah, <laughs> so if you want my Stashpedia, the link will be in the pinned comment. And if you want to buy any of these pops, but not mine, but like the same pop, I will leave links to my Amazon affiliate page down below in the pinned comment as well, where you can pick up some of these Funko Pops. I got some of them on, I think the majority of them I got on eBay, but two of these were gifts in my Christmas haul. So I'll put an icon in the top right hand corner of your screen if you're curious of watching that. It's a really cool video. I do that video every year. But this is the last video of January. So in February, we're gonna have a whole new setup behind me. It's still gonna be right here, but it's gonna be a little different. So you can see that on Tuesday. But let's get into this video. So as I said, I don't know if I said, but I did talk about Stashpedia. We are going to be going on my Stashpedia page if my phone will open. Stashpedia, you can put in all your Funko Pops in your collection and you can make a wish list as well. So I have my collection right here. And I don't know if I can actually link my um stashpedia but i will put my username in the pinned comment it says izzy underscore rain and the i and izzy is capitalized and the r and rain is capitalized so this is as of what is today's date <laughs> january 30th my top five maybe in december at the end of the year we'll do this video again and see what has changed if it has changed so my number one most expensive pop is a pop i got for christmas and one of my favorite tv book characters i don't really know if he'd be considered a book character um because he's not a point of view chapter but that is rob stark i love rob stark i love richard madden he is my one celebrity crush like if somebody asks me my celebrity crush that is who i will say even though there are some others but richard madden i love him so rob stark this is one where i wasn't willing to pay the price of my own, so I did get it for Christmas. But on Stashpedia, he is worth $133. And another thing, I didn't pay the prices that I'm saying in this video, because on eBay, they're usually cheaper. And a thing I recommend is looking at international sellers, because since their money is like the Canadian dollar, I think is cheaper than the American dollar. So none of these I got from Canada. So look at Canadian sellers, just look at other countries that their um, dollar is worth less than the American dollar. So Rob Stark, I really hope I get his wolf gray one soon. And I do have a custom made pop coming from Etsy sometime soon. That is a Rob Stark inspired and I probably will do a video on it. But yes, Rob Stark worth $133. So coming in at second is another Game of Thrones Funko Pop. And it is a Walmart exclusive actually, but was vaulted. Both of the, I th yeah, both of these are vaulted. And usually if a pop is vaulted, their price does go up. So this is Jon Snow Beyond the Wall. This is before they actually had the Walmart exclusive sticker. And I have all the boxes, but they're upstairs. How I store my Funko Pops. I'll put an icon actually to my collection video. Uh, my game of thrones collection at least and you can see how i store them so it would mess up everything if i brought their boxes downstairs but this is one i got on ebay as well so beyond the wall it basically has glitter on it for snow so there's a lot of different john snow fungo pops he's my current favorite character on game of thrones rob stark is my original favorite but some things happen so John is worth $118. This box did sadly come damaged um, in the shipping. It got messed up. But I am an out-of-box collector. And again, you can see how I store my Funko Pops. So it wasn't really a problem. But yeah, both of these. And I just realized something. Oh, my Rob one. I See, I was the one who paid for this. But where is his arm? It's... This isn't Jamie Lannister, so I'm gonna have to look into that because I think he's supposed to have two arms. Rob doesn't lose an arm, but yeah, they both have swords. Kind of worried about that, but okay. 
My third most expensive Funko Pop, we're going to a different fandom now, is one of my, one of my favorite characters from the Star Wars series, and that is Queen Amidala. And she actually doesn't come with the bottom thing. If you're familiar with Star Wars Funko Pops, they all have that like black thing on the bottom. I'm not really sure what to stand. I don't know what to call it. But how I got this one, because again, I'm not willing to pay how much she actually is, which I'll get to in a minute. So I bought her separately and then I bought a box separately because some people will sell their boxes on ebay if they're an out of box collector i guess so i bought her separately and then i bought a box separately so that is how i didn't spend over a hundred dollars on her and her trending value is 110 and if you're and she is vaulted as of may 29th 2015 and if you're wondering how they know the price they i think it's just an average of all ebay sales amazon sales all that kind of stuff so I think that's how they come up with. So going to not really a fandom, but to MLB, our, really our third, because uh, it's tied with Queen Amidala at 110, and that is Mr. Redlegs, the Cincinnati Reds mascot. I really like this pop. He's a baseball. I've never seen the Reds actually, but I want to go to Ohio for an Indians game. So who knows, maybe I'll see the Reds as well because Yasio Puig is on the Reds now, Alex Wood, I, Cal Farmer is he there, I don't know, but the Reds are getting a lot of people in trying to rebuild, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what they're trying to do. I, I'm, I don't really keep up with the central part of the NL, but um, yep, there's Mr. Redlegs, and I got all these except Rob on eBay. So coming in at fourth is another Game of Thrones, and that is the hound so this is a very cool pop especially for his um burns and like it's not paint like it's it actually stands up kind of and i think that's very very cool again he comes with a sword it got kind of bent i don't know if it's from the shelf wear or if i got him like that i don't know but i got him on ebay as well like everything and i think i bought it from an australian seller not sure, but he is right now at a hundred dollars exactly. So our next pop is another Game of Thrones pop. I know a lot of these are Game of Thrones because that is what I'm trying to collect the whole line. And that is Daenerys Targaryen with her red dragon. She she doesn't have a red dragon on the show, but this is just a variant that Funko did. And I think it was an error. I don't know, this one or the gold one is um, an error. And this is, I don't know if it's exclusive to a store. I don't think it is. But again, worth $100 is Daenerys. This pop does have a really hard time standing up. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of her hair. Because Daenerys almost has intricate braids. And this is when she is the Khaleesi. Even though, like, she still is. But y'all get what I'm saying if you've read the books or watched the show. So our last one at number five. I went from one to five. I shouldn't have done that. But number five is one I got for Christmas as well. Another Game of Thrones. And it's Tywin Lannister at $81. So his armor is so cool. I think they have a gold one as well. But I said the silver one. And he has the red, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's like what the Romans have, a slash. Those are my top five most expensive Funko Pops. Tell me down below in the comments what your top five most expensive are. And as I said, I will have my Amazon affiliate links down in the pinned comment so y'all can buy any of these pops if you want to. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys.